What's up guys, today we're back with another Yu-Gi-Oh! Collection purchase. This is the Brick Collection Mystery Opening. So, I bought this from the guy, he actually did, he sent me what it was, but I really can't remember what's in here. So we're just gonna open it up, it's gonna be kinda fun, cause I really am not sure what we're about to pull. And, the giveaway. I'll be giving away these three cards, this is Marshmallow from Premium Pack 1, we have Premium Pack 2, Mizuki, and Light Sword and Saber from the Duelist Genesis, first edition. All you gotta do, is like this video, be subscribed, and let me see what do you think is going to be in this collection. So this, I think, was a this was a much lower value one, I think. So there's going to be more of those hidden gems rather than the huge money. So let's get this brick open. You got this huge, massive brick thing. Here we go. Take a peek inside there. Lots of different sleeve colors there, which is nice. All right, so we got some some of that. That looks like it's going to be nice because it's got a top loader and all that stuff. The nice thing about this is it's not in a binder. Um, so we don't have to worry about flipping through a binder. We can just flip through the cards, which would be much easier, much faster, and just, just better overall, I think. Let's start off with the unsleeved cards, because I have a feeling those are probably like commons or something. Or just bulk super rare, stuff like that, yeah. Oh, Phantasma, that's pretty good. <laughs> that's pretty good for being unsleeved. That's an ultra rare, but it's from Leds. Okay, we'll set it aside. I'm not sure if it's good or not. Sign Hit Mining, that's pretty good super rare. I think, it's, I think that's down around a dollar though, but still not bad. Wasn't this card pretty good for a little bit? I think that card was worth a few cents. So, you know, we'll see what we can find in this bulk. There's always some hidden gems. Not always, but sometimes there's some hidden gems. Let me know if you see any of these super rares that are good that I don't recognize, because I'm not I'm not an expert on the random super rares. Oh, okay, that's an ultra rare. We'll put that over there. Get it out of there. Out of the, the bulk pile. Okay. Oh, we got some gold. Okay, we got some gold. Um, Cyber Dragon Infinity is not bad. It's not too bad. Not a bad start. It's better than I thought. I thought it was going to just be common, so I'll take that. Oh, another uh, Zwan. Okay, some Ultra Rare. That guy's not too good, I don't think. The Ignister. There's our Magical Knight of Dragons. We have a lot of him. Oh, he's opened up some uh, some Genesis Impact, which is not the best. We I thought we did okay the other day, and then we made like eight bucks back. I was like, okay, never mind. Maybe Maybe not. <laughs> I realized that afterward that it was not too good. Okay. This is looking like mostly bulk Phantom Rage stuff. You know, I don't think there's anything too crazy in the super rares. And UA. So now let's see what's in some of these. Okay, this has got some more of the bulk stuff. But uh, Dogmaticas are okay, I think. Different Dimension Ground. What is this, dude? Yeah, dude. I can just tell by the way it feels. Dude feels different than anything else. It's the, the printing is different for some reason. That card's worth like a dollar, I think. I remember because I sold so many of those. I had so many dude decks. Let's see. Oh, Lulu. There's, that's like a $20 card near mint. That's pretty good. Let's see. Okay, we got some more ultra rares. That's good. Alright, that's some decent stuff. That's worth a little bit. Some Phantom Rage. I think the best ultra rare is Lulu, so... Makes sense. There's a dude effect veiler. Nice. Spell Cancer. DD Crow is probably not even a dollar anymore, but still not too bad. That's that's a decent card. Blue Eyes is always always okay to set those aside. Oh, cool. A Japanese Red Eyes. Astrograph Sorcerer. Isn't that from like... Yeah, I think... Isn't that like one of the only decent cards out of that set? I think it's worth like two bucks. I think the most expensive card from that set is like three dollars. We got a Secret Rare. Oh, it's, it's MV1. MVP1, of course. The most printed set of all time. They printed it four different times. Like, literally insane. I don't understand that at all. Oh, cool. Okay. I love that. I love those promos from 2019. Those are super good. Let's see if we can find something else cool. Oh, Ancient Warrior. I don't know if that's good or not. I'm going to have to go through some of this stuff because Sky Strike. Shark Cannon is worth like two bucks, I think. Solemn Strike and Cosmic Cyclone out of Dude. Those, those are some of the best cards. Wave Motion Cannon was good for a little bit. I think it kind of fell out of the meta or whatever. The blue eyes chaos are cool. Blackluster soldier rare. I mean that's out of tune chaos, so they're everywhere. <laughs> they were literally in almost like every other pack. Okay, so we're doing okay so far. This is out of our favorite set docs, so I don't think it's worth too much. I would remember that one if it was good. White or a whale? I think that's a dollar. Yeah. So if you guys are wondering, when I sell on TCG Player, I, I usually only list stuff a dollar or more. Sometimes they'll go below, but. Usually I'm only going to go for a dollar or more, so that's what I'm kind of looking for. If, if I remember it being a dollar, I'll pull it out and I'll 
list it. Mega Clops, that's decent, I think. Fusion Deployment, I'm gonna have to check that one. And these, they could have changed since I last, last did it. Oh, a Secret Rare, that's pretty good. Sunrise, this was worth quite a bit. Now it's cheap. Baron Blot, that's a new card. Warning Point Secret Rare, I think, is very cheap, but it's still a new Secret Rare. Newer Secret Rare, so it'll be worth a little bit. Oh, Artemis, that's good. Plunder Patrol, is this the good one or is it the other one? I think it's the other one. We'll, we'll, we'll check anyway. I'll put up a price for you guys. Oh, Seeger. I can't remember if that's any good or not. We'll have to check it later. All right, the final stack of this pretty small collection, but it's fun to go through it when I really couldn't remember what was in here. Okay, Ghost Ogre is always good, even though there's been a million of them in the last couple years. That one is not very expensive. That one's kind of cheap now. Oh, look at this! What is this? Oh my goodness, this is awesome. Okay, time out, time out, time out. We've got a misprint card. Oh my, this card's probably like the most valuable card we found yet. Time out. I've never had a card this like this bad. It's like completely off center that has the next card on it. That's really cool. Okay, number one hit so far, the Nubian Guard Common. I wasn't expecting that to happen. That's really cool. Oh, we got a Horus. Always good to have a Horus. That's good. Oh, two. Not one, but two. We got the Secret and the Soul of the Duelist Ultra Rare. That is a counterfeit UDE copy. It has the silver stamp. Got, uh, ooh, we got the God cards. That's good. And they're the, the good version, or kind of good version. This is not bad. This is finish, finishing out pretty, wait, where'd I put that? Okay, there's the other half. <laughs> Finishing out pretty solid. Silvory Calcos, a lot of those. Those are, I saw those at a dollar. Are those a dollar now? I think those might be close to a dollar now, which is insane. Because they were literally in every legendary collection in Yugi's World. But I guess they are pretty far hard to find now, and you gotta pay like a hundred bucks for them. This was two bucks. Is that still two bucks to get it reprinted? I bet it got reprinted. Magical contract. Dark Ruler No More, that's pretty good. I think it's fallen quite a bit though. Okay, last stack. Not the longest video ever today, but. We get to look at some cool cards. Man, a pretty cool, uh... Oh, cool, Omen. A pretty cool misprint in there. I was not... I didn't know that was in there. Okay. Thought Ruler Archfiend. Secret Rare? What is that? Oh, Legendary Collection 5Ds? That's actually really cool. Oh, no. What is sticking to... This is sticking together. Okay, I'm gonna have to check some of these. I don't know about... These MVP1 cards I know are not worth anything. Unless there are a couple of specific cards. Red Nova. Avalos the Torment. Oh, nice. Avalos the Tormentor. Those are, those are worth a little bit. Exodia, the Legendary Defender. That's just a cool card. Lumina. Lightsworn Shaman. Oh, Ghost Bell. Ghost Bell's okay. Okay. Now we have the top loaded cards. So the top loaded cards are. Are we going to spoil it? Yeah, we are going to spoil it. Let's try not to make the reveal nice okay first card we have a db1 thousand eyes restrict so dark beginning one thousand eyes ultra rare version so this is a reprint set card actually decent condition this would be a nice goat deck card if you're playing your thousand eyes restrict that's pretty cool that's not bad we have two more we have Change of Heart, okay. Metal Raiders, I think. Metal Raiders Unlimited. Let's see what condition this... Oh, this thing's is triple-sleeved. Let's see about this triple-sleeved bad boy. Well, I guess it's a girl, but you know. You know what I'm saying here. Oh my gosh, this one's tight. Pretty decent, not bad on the condition. We'll take that. Change of Heart, original, 2002, Metal Raiders. And the final card of the collection, this is the one I remembered, is a Retro Pack 1 Relinquished, which is really cool. This was like, I saw this card and I was like, that's pretty cool, I guess I'll buy this collection. That was all I really cared about. And I was like, well, the rest will have something cool in it. So it does have a little, a little bit of a bend up there, unfortunately. Retro Pack 1 Relinquished, this card feels like, like European, because Retro Pack was, I think, mostly a European release. So a very slick feel to it. But that's a really cool card. 
So we ended up getting some pretty cool stuff. We got this Nubian Guard off-centered common. That is actually amazing. Check that out. That is super cool. Nubian Guard. And that's pretty much it, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed going through this smaller mystery collection. I did. It was a lot of fun. And if you guys have a collection, a lot of you guys have messaged me about collections. I've only bought some of them because I just don't have enough money to buy all your collections. But I'll continue to buy some of them when I can. And hopefully we can get some good stuff. And thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to check out the membership if you guys are interested. Click the join button below. We've got some epic content coming up there as well. And that's it for today. I'll see you guys later. Peace. Oh! Yes. Oh. Elemental Hero Dark Bright. Boom! Oh. <laughs>